Hello everyone, welcome to Clipboard Classes. Today we're going to talk about different styles of learning. Some people say there's four, some people say there's seven. We're going to look at the four main styles of learning today. Okay, let's get started. Everybody learns in different ways. Some people learn better in groups, and some people learn better by themselves. Some people can read books and remember all the facts, and some people can't. Have you ever sat looking at a page in a book and you're staring at the words, but none of the information is going into your head? That might be because you're not suited to this learning style. It's interesting to know what style we are so we can study and learn better in the future by using learning styles that are better suited for us. The four main styles of learning we're going to look at today is visual learning, auditory learning, kinesthetic learning, and reading and writing. Okay, let's take a look at them one by one. The first one we're going to look at is visual learners. They prefer to see the information and visualize it in their heads, thinking about the relationships and the ideas. This kind of learner likes charts, pictures, and maps. So let's look at some tips for visual learners. The first one, color coding. So that means using different colors to code your notes. You could say, I'm going to make all the dates yellow, I'm going to make the verbs green, or I'm going to make the maths formula red. You can use these different colors to help you break down your notes and color code it to make it easier for you. Another way is using flashcards with pictures or formulas. You could have a flashcard like this with a picture on one side and the English word on the next. Or you could make a flashcard with a formula. So you could have A is A, D, J plus E, R than B, bigger and smaller. It helps you visualize the information. You can also draw on your notes. Uh, visual learners like, obviously they like pictures, so drawing on the notes will help. But personally, my favorite is post-it notes and sticky notes. Okay, these are great for learning. I will write a date or the new word or a sentence or an important fact and then I can peel it off, stick it anywhere in my house or on my desk, in my book uh, and it will help me, I can make a map with these post-its and it will help me remember the important things and visualize it. Okay, let's look at the next one. So the second one we're going to look at is auditory learners. Now auditory learners like to use their ears. They love to listen to information rather than reading it. And if you can always remember what somebody said, then you might be an auditory learner. So let's look at some tips for auditory learners. The first one is read aloud. So when you're reviewing your notes, say them out loud. People might think you're crazy. I suggest you do it at home in your bedroom, not in the library, but it will help you remember and help you learn. You can also discuss with a partner or a group the idea or the information, and that will help you listen to it. You could also listen to podcasts if you want to learn by listening. You can find a podcast about the subject you're interested in, and you can listen to it. You could also make voice memos on your phone. Uh, all the phones have a voice recorder, so you can make some voice memos about the notes and you can listen to them when you're walking to school or walking to work. Okay, let's look at the next one. So the third one we're going to look at is kinesthetic learners. It's a long one, kinesthetic learners. Kinesthetic learners learn by doing hands-on problem solving or hands-on activities. They like making and creating things and they probably don't like to sit in long lectures or long classes where they can't do something. A kinesthetic learner would prefer to go and fix the bike rather than reading a book about how to fix the bike. They'd like to learn by doing, so they would prefer to just try and learn as they go. 
let's look at some tips for kinesthetic learners. Studying in short blocks of time. If a kinesthetic learner tried to sit down for two or three hours with a book, they probably won't learn much. But if they sat down for 20 minutes and then had a five minute break, did another 20 minutes, these short blocks of time will help them learn. Another thing they can do is to walk or move while they're reviewing their notes or maybe reading a book. If you physically move and physically walk around, or maybe you throw a ball or you have a fidget spinner, you're going to find it much easier to remember your notes. The last one is a role play in class. Maybe there's the opportunity to make a role play. If you're learning new words, you could maybe do a role play about the new words. If you're learning a language, you can make a, a short role play with maybe a shopkeeper and a customer or something. A role play will help you because it's physical. You're moving while learning. Okay, let's look at the last one. So the last one is reading and writing learners. Now, it's obvious, they learn by reading, okay? They're very happy to sit down with a book or a printout and read and take notes from it. They like writing their own condensed version of a passage. If the teacher gave them a book, maybe they'd read a paragraph and they'd write a short sentence themselves about what happened. Uh, and they find writing notes is easy. They don't have any problem writing notes. So let's look at some tips for reading and writing learners. If your class has some printouts, you could spend time reviewing the, the printout the teacher gave you. You could visit the library and find the books that you need about your subject, since reading and writing learners prefer to read books. You could write a passage about what you learned in the class at the end of the class to review. And you could rewrite texts into your own words. So, conclusion time. We all have different styles of learning and it's about finding which style works best for you. If you know which style works best for you, you're going to find it much easier to learn new things or learn new vocabulary or learn whatever the teacher is teaching you in class. Remember, you can also be a mix of styles. I know for me, I need to use visual learning and auditory learning. So everybody, I hope you liked the video. I hope it's going to help you. If you did like it, please subscribe or leave a comment or a thumbs up and I'll catch you next time.